Hi and welcome to Unity tutorial of instantiation. So I'm going to start by clicking on new project and I'm going to call my project instantiating there. Let's click make sure 3D is selected and click on create. Okay our development environment is ready. But let me show you guys what I want to try and achieve. Right here that's Unity documentation. I want to try and put this into practice that is instantiating prefab at runtime. Okay, the whole idea is because prefab comes in very handy when it comes to instantiating complicated objects, so such as game object. So this is what I want to try and achieve in this very documentation here. Right down here, we don't want this maybe some other time with this is what I want to try and achieve and let me show it to you that's the outcome okay so we are going to end up copying these lines of codes here right so I might as well just go straight to unity now and set it all up then we'll come back and copy these lines of codes okay back to unity development environment the first thing I need is I'll go straight to the hierarchy right there click on create and let's create empty game object now that my empty game object is ready the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the hierarchy again and let's go to 3d and select cube there the very cube that is created I will now click on it drag it down to create what is known as a prefab once you drag it here inside the project it becomes what is known as prefab and as you can see the color actually changes to blue now the next thing we want to do is go back to game objects select it and come right down here the project area right click on the project area go to create and let's select C sharp script there. let's give our project a name I'm just gonna call that cycle formation there. press enter now that circle formation is ready all we now need to do is to open it up so make sure the script is selected unfortunately my instruction is not here so let's go to window and select the inspector and let's bring the inspector here just tag it right there now that this is selected we can always click on new now that the script is selected we can then click on open alright the coding area is ready but before I can continue I will take you guys back to unity documentation area right here we'll take a good look at the lines of codes here the first thing they did was they declare a variable an object known as prefab and there's another variable declare here that is a uh, an integer which means 20 of the cube will be generated at this very radius so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this from here if you want you can copy it from the comment area up to here okay copy and make sure you notice the function use is function stat okay I will now minimize that and come right here function stat is already here but although I've copied function stat as well so I'm going to highlight this and just get rid of this delete and paste the copied lines of codes in there there we go so that's that's all there is to it but there's one thing I'd like to show to you guys take good note of the mathematic function used we have pi cosine sine okay you can always change this to maybe tangent or sine but one thing first let's save this and go straight to our codes our unity development environment now I'm going to now drag this very script straight inside the game object 
okay so let me let me just get rid of this because this is on the way move it aside just close it we don't need this for now now if we select the game object there you see the prefab that was declared and the number of objects so all we need to then do is click and drag the cube and drop it right inside the variable prefab or the object prefab there we go and that's all there is to it so what will happen when I run the program is 20 of those cubes will be displayed on the other hand we can delete this very one we don't need it anymore let's delete that and let's run the program now and see what's going to happen there we go guys you see that 20 of those are generated I'm going to close that again let's run it again there we go you see that's how you use instantiation towards instantiating to generate prefab makes life easy one other thing that you guys can do is once this is selected if you like you can change this maybe to about 40 let's see what's gonna happen with about 40 there we go look at that more or less fill up the whole screen so let's assume we change it to, to 10 and you see what's gonna happen with 10 there okay so I think 20 is ideal right so one other thing that you guys can do is if you go straight to the codes okay we can change this to tangent okay and let's save that and go back to the program now let's run it and see what's going to happen you see that guys that's what happened with tangent you can just have a go at it play around with it and see what and what you can make up with those lines of codes so guys let's change it back to what it was save that come back in here run the program again and there we go guys so with that i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it and thanks for watching bye for now